The goal of Khan Game is to remind audiences, including ourselves, to to reappreciate the nature and understanding the order of life and the process of reincarnation. Material, and we process it. We cut them, or either like smash them, or, and then like glue it together, or you know weave it. It went through humans' hands, and then it became like totally different shape. So, for example, like uh, Hiroko's textile work, it doesn't look like cotton anymore. You know, the itself. It doesn't look like a tree or uh, the leaves. You know, but using the essence of these different organisms one brand new thing is created. So calligraphy is the same thing too. It doesn't look like horse anymore because it became brush. <laughs> and then papers are just flat, like white piece of, you know, sheet that doesn't look like those trees in the forest anymore, you know, because it went through human's hands. So in a way, using these uh, materials as a medium to uh, express like artistic, you know, forms, is in a way uh, we are like reconnecting with the nature, you know, we touch the nature and we express our idea through the art. This is Hiroko's textile work. Uh, the title is Symbiosis. And she made uh, this sculpture piece newspaper, wool, and cotton. So the material is all natural. Her textile work, um, well to me, to us, it represents the nature itself. Like having that textile sculpture in the center of the space is kind of like a, a tree trunk almost. The tree, you know, growing like straight up to the sky. Hiroko um, wanted to express the um, the fact that nature and humans are living together on this planet, and we coexist on this same continent in the same nature. So that whole idea of her sculpture um, is the same. She's take, she takes the similar approach to you know embody her work, uh, the, uh, the theme. What I'm trying to do with uh, the clip performance is totally in sync together. So having that whole like idea and the actual physical work in the same space creates the world of Kange. アンゲン。白くて暗い光明の中薄れていく意識とともに増していくのは確かな暗闇穏やかな鼓動を聞きながら薄れていく光とともに鮮やかになっていくのは肌に染みていくね地の中へと沈んでいく深く大地と一つになる果てなく果てなく大地の鼓動を聞く大地の鼓動と自分の鼓動をゆっくりと重ねる大地の呼吸を聞く大地の呼吸と自分の呼吸をゆっくりと合わせる生命の生まれた源へ帰っていくそれは大火や消滅ではなくそれは私たちが生き抜くところ生命が生まれる場所から生命が帰っていく場所です新たな命がここで生まれる